What is the best amp I've heard this year? All this and more. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Cheap Audio Man 2022 Amp of the Year. So this is a bit of a more complicated subject because not all amplifiers are created the same. Some are simply power amplifiers. Others are amplifiers that only have, I don't know, a volume control. Some have multiple inputs. Some only have one input. Some have DACs, some don't. There's a lot of apples and oranges and bananas in this category. However, I'm going to try to do my best to mention what I think are the standout products that I've listened to this year. It doesn't mean that they came out this year, it just means I reviewed them this year. So what are the best amps I've heard this year? First, a word from our sponsor, Bespoke Post. Big shout out to today's sponsor, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club where they send you out a box of awesome top shelf goods each month. You can join for free, you can cancel anytime, and you can even skip a month if you want to. Every single month, they introduce their customers to new and exciting products such as barware, outdoor gear, home and kitchen goods, clothing, even live oysters. Each box of awesome contains about $70 worth of goods inside, but you pay a fraction of that cost. Every month they send you a box of awesome and you can keep it, swap it for a different box or skip the month altogether. You only pay for what you want. Let's open one up. Ooh, lots of stuff in this one. This is the roast box. You all know how much I enjoy a nice cup of coffee. Well, now I can have one every day. It comes with the roast coffee grinder. Yay, I'm so excited for the coffee grinder. It comes with the press and go. You brew, you press, and you go. Also comes with the Butterista Parlor. Golden sound. Yummy. Big box. The Weekender. The Weekender. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, baby. Look at this. Nice little bag. Ooh. Nice canvas. Leather. Got some buckles here. Ooh. Shoulder strap. Very nice. Old school label in there. Love it. Could put my head in it. It's big enough for my head. Take your freshly ground coffee and measure out four tablespoons, which just so happens to be the exact same size as the filter. Then you take the coffee and you put it in here. Then you take some water and you pour it into here. It's probably hot, hotter than this. Then you take the filter and you screw it back into the bottom of this. And then you take this and you just shove it in here. And let that sit for a few minutes and then you have a nice French press on the go. Yummy. Go to bespoke.com slash audioman20 and enter the code audioman20 to get 20% off your first box of awesome. The IEMA T9. If you watch the show at all, you know I'm a pretty big fan of this amplifier. However, I am going to give basically some disclaimers because I have been using this recently and I have run into the dreaded it shuts down when it doesn't hear a signal issue. I think, I think, I think they may have fixed that. And I never noticed it when I was running digital inputs. It never cut out. However, when I was comparing this to another amplifier and I was simply running an RCA input to it from another preamp, it did cut out after each song or if I changed tracks or something like that. So that was annoying. It wasn't as clean as I thought it was when I was comparing it to a tube amp. Now, granted, that tube amp was $1,000 compared to a $120 integrated amplifier with a DAC, with tubes and everything else. I still think people should consider the T9. And while it's not gonna win, it's definitely getting an honorable mention. If you're gonna get one, try to get one of the updated ones. <laughs> Hey, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I do this for a living, so it means the world to me if you'd like the video and subscribe. You can always unsubscribe 
and it's free. It helps me out, it helps the channel out, and I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. This one has obviously been out for a long time. I have just never listened to it. It is the Yamaha AS301. It comes in at $350, and for an integrated amplifier, that's a traditional rack mountable, well, it's not rack mount, I guess you can mount it in a rack. You put it in a rack. It's as wide as most components are. It comes with a DAC. It comes with a phono stage. More importantly, for me at least, it comes with variable loudness controls. I think out of the box, this amp doesn't really resonate with me in its stock sonic signature. However, with the use of tone controls and the variable loudness control, I could get this thing to sound exactly like I wanted it to. Well, within reason, when considering the price point. It's got good build quality from a great manufacturer. Who knows what they're doing? The AS301, a little bit thin. The value proposition on this product is incredible. And it comes with a great remote control that can also control a Yamaha CD player. Maybe another CD player, I don't know. Great product traditional product and for $350 it's pretty nuts there's a whole bunch of amplifiers integrated amps in that family AS301 501 701 801 I don't know if there's any more 01s from affordable all the way up to extremely expensive great traditional components an amp that's not making the list but is kind of making the list is the topping LA90 it simply sounds sublime however the connections that they chose are silly and the price to performance ratio isn't quite there it's nine hundred dollars it doesn't put out a ton of power however i would be remiss if i did not mention it because it is simply wonderful sounding nine hundred dollars though so let's just say it was maybe nominated but lost out on the first round <laughs> Runner-up to the amp of the year is the Emotiva TA1. They also have the TA2, but the TA2 is a bit more expensive. TA1 comes in at $600. Actually, the TA2 comes in at $999, so $1,000. TA1, though, is the one that is the runner-up. It has a phono stage. It has a DAC. It has Bluetooth. It has an FM tuner. It has a couple of analog inputs. Did I say phono stage? It has a phono stage. It has a remote control. Tone controls can also be used as a preamp if you ever want to add an additional amplifier to it. Also as bass management with a fixed high pass filter. This thing is a really an amazing product at $600. I think it used to be $500 or $550. It's still hard to argue the value proposition though from Emotiva. 60 watts into 8, both channels driven. 100 watts into 4, both channels driven. Unless you have a very inefficient speaker, it's going to take care of you. This is an amp that you can grow with. One of the first integrated amplifiers I ever got was the TA100, which I think is one generation older than the TA1. I thought it was fantastic. I still kind of wish I had it. Emotiva TA1 integrated amplifier is the runner up to the amplifier of the year. And the amplifier of the year award goes to the IEMA A-O-H Pro, yay! This is, this is a $139 amplifier when it's not on sale. However, they regularly go on sale. When I was a kid, I could never say regularly. I still can't say it very well. They regularly go on sale for less than $140. However, even at $140, it's still a steal. This is pretty simple. No remote control. Has Bluetooth, but eh, I wouldn't use the Bluetooth. VU meter on front, tone controls on the front, and you turn the power on by just turning the volume up like this. It is a fairly straightforward piece of equipment. However, it sounds great because it has the 3255 amp chipsets from Texas Instruments, which are also an amp chipset that can really push a lot of power depending upon what power supply you have. 
What kind does this one come with? I'm glad you asked. This one comes with a 36 volt, five amp power supply, which is much bigger than the power supply that comes with the IEMA A07, which is an equally good sounding amplifier. Doesn't put out as much power though. This has such a good power supply that I use it on other products when I'm testing those other products. For $140 though, you will be able to drive almost all the speakers that you could possibly want to drive. 98% of the people out there are going to be able to drive 98% of the speakers they want to drive. I don't know how this math works out. Anyway, this is a fantastic product at $140. The value to performance is there. The sound signature is there. And frankly, I was comparing the A08 Pro to the Burson Funk, which is I think 500 north of $500. And I couldn't tell that I could not, I couldn't consistently tell the A08 Pro from the Burson Funk when I was blind testing back and forth doing some AB testing. Couldn't consistently tell them apart. That's why this product gets Amplifier of the Year. You can use the aux output right here to hook up a subwoofer, powered subwoofer, if you want. If you want a remote control, you're gonna have to add a DAC that has a remote control. There's one that fits in the slot, the IEMA T8, but you don't have to buy that one. You can get whatever you wanna get. Also, if you get an external DAC, you can always run an EQ in the middle, but these tone controls are pretty good. If you want a headphone amp, you would go DAC, headphone amp, and then your headphone amp would need pre-amp outputs, and then you'd go into here. Wonderful product for $140 crazy product for $140. It's been a great year for amplifiers. I've had a ton of fun. If you think I got it wrong, stick it in the comments, which one, stick me, stick it in the comments, which one you think I should have mentioned. I'm going to link the best speaker of the year and the best DAC of the year over here or over here or up there somewhere. So check those out because those are a lot of fun too, all for 2022. If you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio Patreon only Zooms, Patreon only Facebook, Patreon only Discord. You can also use the links in the description. Most of those are affiliate links. You can also sign up for Amazon Music, Tidal Music, or Rune. Links in the description. You can also finally use the thanks button. It's down by the share button. Don't feel compelled to give me anything at all. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen, maybe through one of these wonderful products. And fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.